Hey friends, I've got my swap package for Irene. Thank you, Irene. Uh, yours should be arriving here shortly too. And I'm just gonna open it up here. We had some shipping delays uh, recently because we've had some uh, snowy weather. So also apologies if you hear my little one in the background. She is not being a good listener today. Alright, so it's always fun getting happy mail. Here's her card. So we're gonna open that. Oh, that's a cute sticker. Oh wow. I love this card. So cool. It says I'm so lucky to have you, and she's got some trims and sewing patterns in the background and these are like some vintage images from the sewing pattern and then she's got this cute rosette so oh thanks Irene that was so nice of you and thanks for taking time to do a swap with me I know swaps really do take time and um, I've been absent off the YouTube world for a little while, so I really appreciate your kindness and your friendship. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this. It's like a bluish velvet bag, and I know she's gonna, my little one's gonna take this because this is her favorite color. Oh, and she's filled it with trims. Okay, we gotta go through them here. Oh, I love when you tie them together like that because I just hang them up in my craft room that way too. So she's got, ooh, she's got this really awesome beaded one with like gemstone chips on it. That's amazing. She must know I like gemstones. And then some crocheted ones. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love these dainty ones. Look at this wide trim. Oh my gosh, that's going to be really fun for cards. This really pretty crocheted. Oh, so gorgeous. Ooh, I really like this one. That reminds me of fall leaves. This one's cool. It's really unique. This is a nice, ooh, it's stretchy. That's cool. I like that. That might make a nice little belly band on something. And then this really pretty like mocha chocolate colored trim. Oh, so gorgeous. Thank you for those trims. And she sent me a little goodie bag here. This is cool. Word cards. Ooh, I do like that. That's really neat to find something special to use that on. Look at these little index cards. Fun little index cards. And then she sent me some of these flowers. These almost look like when we used to make little seam binding flowers. Really pretty. Ooh, I'm loving this trim. I'm already seeing this and getting ideas. This is really, really cool. It's like, um, almost like a gauze trim with a crocheted edge, if you can see that. My lighting isn't the greatest, I apologize. It's dark here and it's only quarter to six. You really didn't have to send me goodies, but thank you. Oh, this must be the ornament. Irene, that is an amazing ornament, you guys. It's two candy canes, and she's got a pretty tattered bow with a frosted red flower, some gorgeous little twine, oh, and these really cute leaves. They have like an enamel to them. That is beautiful. I can't wait to hang that up. Thank you so much. 
They're fun. Some Christmas tags. Definitely can use those. She sent me an assortment of those. A notepad this is really cool I love that I always use these because I like to food journal and do my grocery list on those oh, oh my goodness Irene you are way too generous I, you really didn't have to send me all of this hey friends so part of my video footage had cut out um, but I am here today to share with you some amazing things that Irene Lucia Caso made me in our recent swap. So she sent me this gorgeous ornament that is two candy canes wrapped like a heart. And I love the fabric and those little leaves and this frosted flower. And I love this gorgeous soft bow that you included. And I love how it hangs from this twine. It's just so beautiful. So I have that hanging in my craft room. I'll probably hang it on my tree actually though. And then here is the sweet card she made me and it says I'm so lucky to have you as a friend and she's added gorgeous trims and just layers of patterns and I just love that so sweet so there's her stamp and then the most beautiful part is this beautiful journal that she's made me and um, she's added this cute, I think they call it like a lollipop flower. And she's done some really pretty layering of trims, some stitching. I love that collage up there. And she has done a video of this. So if you go check out her channel, which I'll link below, she will um, have her whole video talking about where she got everything and so this is some sari silk which I've never had so excited and it just opens like such and she's got some beautiful tags here and I'm sorry I'm not using my tripod I'm just doing that so that I have more control over showing you everything in detail so a little pocket that she stitched and this is the beautiful tag. I love the tab and all the stitching that you've done. And I love this piece here that you've stitched and it's stained. It's so gorgeous. And then it's in a little, almost like seed envelope, but it's from a magazine that she used to, um, I'm going to have to put that back later, to make a pocket. So really gorgeous and I had recorded this a lot nicer so I apologize because I don't know where that footage went and here's the next page really gorgeous flowers and I love the print on the back and how you've added that this beautiful stained paper I'd love to see how you stain your paper because yours turns out nice mine doesn't do quite as dark Two little um, tags that she's added here that one says grateful so really cute I love that tiny little clip that you've used here I think that's a Tim Holtz clip more paper and she's edged the paper with laces be obsessively graceful I love that pocket and in this pocket she's got some little um, beautiful tags on coffee dyed paper again that she stitched this is so wonderful and it says the struggle ends when gratitude begins for sure I love that another gorgeous tag here um, this almost looks like wood grain you'll have to show me how you got it like that I'm really interested in knowing Papers. This is probably like part of my favorite. I love that page she used. And then I love how you have this little flip book where I can just like stick some notes in. Um, more coffee dyed papers. And then here's the center. I love how you stitched this. And I love how you added the two clay beads at the bottom with the owl. You remembered. So cute. And she's got this nice stitch page here. Grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. 
And that's just like another envelope that she made. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. And I could just stick some photos in there. So this was the one I was telling you that I love that page, Irene. And then she's got two more very gorgeous tags here. I won't pull them all the way out. I only have one hand, but oh, so cute. Love the imagery. We went for a botanical theme. Love the edging that you've done there. It's also pretty. Another gorgeous tag. And she's actually um, put some coffee dyed papers on the back, like I said, which is a really nice finishing touch. Love the edge. That is so pretty. I love how you use this delicate trim along here. And she used painting painters paper, I believe she said. Um, and then this nice cluster that you've layered. I love this. Very pretty. I just, oh, another one of those I love. And I love this paper. Everything turned out so beautiful and just, oh, I, I was like ready to cry when I opened this. I wish I would have got my initial reaction. I just cannot find the video. And then she made me another pocket that says Tender Shrubs. And today I am grateful for this life of mine. And she's done the stamping on muslin there. Oh, so pretty, right? And again, I just love that. So that is my beautiful gratitude journal from Irene. And she added the owl in the back instead of her stamp, just as a symbol of our friendship. So I'm in love with that. Thank you guys so much for watching and please go check out her video. Hey friends, I'm just gonna see if I can finish up the other part of my video here, my camera died. So um, I was sharing that Irene made me so many awesome Christmas tags. So I'm gonna be adding these to my Christmas gifts and maybe my, um, December daily or something if I actually am able to do one of those um, So it was wrapped in this gorgeous sari silk, which I'm gonna be reusing and then she sent me these awesome Mixed-media stamp sets, so I can't wait to use those and I think this would be really awesome on a Christmas card So thank you so much Irene and then look at her cute packaging. It's in this uh, wood grain fabric and she makes these really pretty mixed media fabric clips so I love adding those as bookmarks actually and she's just added some um, oops sorry um, she's added some cute pencils and this awesome pen that um, says anything is possible I love that I love any like writing tools or like journaling things, office supplies, you name it. So amazing. And um, she sent me this gorgeous fiber and some more of this pretty brown trim and this awesome purple 